Ever wondered how to measure the efficiency of your maintenance management? In the complex world of maintaining systems and devices, efficiency is paramount. This is where maintenance efficiency metrics come into play. Two crucial metrics to understand are the mean time to repair, also known as MTTR, and the mean time between failures, or MTBF. They provide valuable insights into your system's health, longevity, and effectiveness. So, are you ready to dive into the world of MTTR and MTBF? First, let's tackle Mean Time to Repair, or MTTR. This is a vital metric that measures the average time it takes to repair a failing device or system. But how exactly do we calculate it? It's simpler than you might think. You take the total time spent on repairs and divide it by the total number of repairs. This gives you a handy average that speaks volumes about the efficiency of your maintenance team and the reliability of your equipment. Picture this. You're managing a factory with a fleet of machines. Over the course of a month, you've had to repair 10 machines. For each, it took an average of two hours to get them back up and running. Therefore, your MTTR for that month would be two hours. This means, on average, your team managed to repair each machine within a two-hour window. Now, why is MTTR important? It's a clear indicator of how quickly your team can respond to and fix issues. If your MTTR is high, it means your equipment is spending more time offline, which can lead to production delays and increased costs. On the flip side, a low MTTR indicates that your maintenance team is effective and efficient, minimizing downtime and keeping your operations smooth. But remember, MTTR isn't just about speed, it's about the quality of repairs too. After all, a quick fix that leads to recurring failures isn't efficient in the long run. So in essence, a lower MTTR means a more efficient maintenance process. But that's only half of the story. Now, let's move on to mean time between failures, or MTBF. This is another crucial metric in the realm of maintenance management. Think of MTBF as a measure of the average time a system or a piece of equipment operates without experiencing a failure. It's like the interval between hiccups in the smooth operation of a system. MTBF is calculated by dividing the total operational time by the number of failures. Let's imagine a machine that's been running for a thousand hours and has experienced five failures during that period. To find the MTBF, you divide those thousand hours by five, giving you an MTBF of 200 hours. Why is this important, you ask? Well, MTBF is a key indicator of the reliability of your equipment. It tells you how long, on average, you can expect your system to function before it hiccups again. This information is invaluable in assessing the effectiveness of your maintenance strategy. For instance, if you have a high MTBF, it means your system is reliable and doesn't fail often. This could be a testament to a well-implemented preventive maintenance strategy. On the other hand, a low MTBF indicates frequent failures, suggesting that your maintenance approach may need some tweaking. So a higher MTBF means a more reliable system. But remember, MTTR and MTBF are two sides of the same coin. So what have we learned about MTTR and MTBF? Summing it up, MTTR, or mean time to repair, gauges the efficiency of your repair process, with lower values indicating a faster and more efficient repair system. On the other hand, MTBF, or mean time between failures, quantifies the reliability of your system, where higher values are more desirable, indicating a system that runs longer without failures. By understanding and monitoring these metrics, you can take your maintenance management to the next level. Before we wrap up, we'd like to remind you that you play a crucial role in our journey towards providing the best educational content. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us to continue creating more content like this. And remember, your journey towards maintenance efficiency doesn't have to end here. Keep watching, keep learning, and let's take this journey together. From all of us here, thank you for watching.